Hey, this is Lasse. And I've been promising you this video review of the Driftwood Purple Nightmare for quite a while now. And finally, the day has come. In order to keep these, this video short and interesting, I figured I'd just split it in three parts. First part will be the quick overview over the technical specs and I'll talk a bit about the amp. And part two and three will be sounds playing through the amp and well that sort of thing so driftwood is a small german boutique company so it's totally possible to get all those custom options like custom coverings tolex whatever color you like or material you like or custom front panels this one is nice flamed maple i'm not sure if the flame actually is very visible in, in the picture but it looks quite nice and the specs are quite unique and very well thought through, I'd say, for this amp. In the front, you can see like the more or less regular layout. You've got your two channels with different voicings each. The clean one has got its little voicing switch. And the distortion channel has got a high and a low gain voicing. And you got your regular rumble and sharp it's called here, it's essentially presence and the depth knob. Two switchable master volumes, which is very nice for solos or whatever. And what's unique about this amp is a lot of us high gain freaks tend to boost their amps to, to get a little bit more tightness out of the amp, because a tube screamer usually, that's what usually is used. Um, cuts the bass frequencies a little bit going into the amp, so it's less muddy, less moshy. And this amp actually has a overdrive built into it. So these are the three controls for that, the gain, tone, and volume. And obviously this uh, overdrive is foot switchable and can be switched in and out uh, either via the foot switch or with a Switch in the back that I'm going to show you in a second. So here's the back of the amp. As you can see already, the transformers are rather huge, which is, in my opinion, essential for a good sound and then solid low end. And this amp uses a pair of 6L6 tubes and a pair of KT88. So that's, that's pretty nice, and now let's jump into the more detailed and unique features. Let's start from the, from the left here. We've got this full power and night switch, and what this essentially does is it switches to a secondary power amp. The, the small power amp is not tube based, but it's solid state, and it's just a 2 watts power amp, so you can practice at night, and it switches that tube power amp the 100 watts off. So you can go from full power band rehearsal recording, whatever, to practicing at night, which is a very, very nice feature. And you get your impedance switch, obviously. Foot switch, cable. I'm going to show you the foot switch later. Or you can switch, like, either with a, a cable and foot switch, that foot switch that's provided, or your regular whatever switches. Then you've got this rotary knob, and this one assigns the overdrive. It's either always on, foot switchable, assigned to channel one, assigned to channel two, or assigned to master two, which is really nice in, in case you only want to have the tube screamer for your solos and use them like a volume boost from the master two for your solos as well. The next one would be the loop assignment. Again, can have it always on, foot switchable, channel one, channel two, master two. Same as with the tube screamer. That's your loop then, obviously. The sample also has a tuner out, which is quite nice. So you can just, you don't have to unplug your guitar or have the tuner in the signal chain in front of the amp. And this one, very nice and unique, is a nine volts outlet. This is to power your pedals, which I think is fucking brilliant, to be honest, because uh, 
Most of us are using pedals of some sort. In the loop, a delay or a chorus or a noise gate in front, and they all are 9 volts, or well, most of them are 9 volts powered. So you can just take that from here, which is fantastic. And the next one would be the bias setup. So you can just bias the tubes and pairs. That's why you can match different tubes as well. So that pair or that pair, adjust them individually. Very nice indeed. This particular amp is my signature model, as you can see here, nice serial number, LL Custom 666, obviously. Um, it's not too different from the regular model. It's, it has slightly tweaked internal voltages and it sounds a bit, I'd say, squishier, chunkier and a bit less woody compared to the regular amp. But you can buy both versions uh, with no extra charge. So, whatever you prefer, it's, I think it's, it costs about the same. Um, yeah, that should be it for this video. I'm just going to show you the foot switch real quick. So, this is the foot switch that comes with the Driftwood Purple Nightmare amp. And it switches all the functions. It, it mutes the amp, which is really great on stage when you're tuning, using the tune out, for example and mute the amp. It switches the overdrive on and off, switches between master volumes, the loop, and obviously the channel switching. So you can control all those functions with this nice and really well-built foot switch, or with the rotary switches in the back, or with your regular whatever switch, foot switch, damn it, foot switch that you can connect to the jacks and the back. So the next video I'm going to be uploading is just me doing some not so good playing through the clean channel and the gain channels. So subscribe if you want to see that. Take care. As you can see, um, this one's purple.